Right everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ginge Gone Walkabout. I'm Kai. To my left we got Paul from Paul's Bushcraft Bites and Amanda. Good morning everyone. Nothing exciting happened last night other than I slept like a brick. Time's now 20 to 8. Been up about 10 minutes. It was a nice warm night in my sleeping bag. At one point I got a bit too warm and I had to take this off, but all in all, good night's sleep people. I'm going to go get some water and everything and get a brew on, I'll see you in a bit. You alright everyone? Just a little something from our ginge. Uh, basically yesterday, a uh, mate helped me out and he helped me do some engraving and some burning into some wood. And this is what we come up with on my little hatchet I brought. Ginger gone walk about. It was only a cheap ten pound hatchet. That's why we did it because I ain't fucking doing it to an expensive one and cocking it right up. So yes, but it's a genuine hickory handle. Steel head, obviously. What steel is a mystery. You know that as much as I do. Ten pound being kill, but that's all that counts. Safe people. Right, just come down to get some water. Got my mini well filter that pool gave me. So I just chuck that in the water. Put the nozzle, the clean end in there. If I can get it to sit. And just casually turn that and start pumping. Put a little sort out. Uh, let's get some fresh, nice, clean drink for you. Water. Yeah, the stream water ain't the clearest today. But, with my three stage water filter, I take it into pure clean, purified cleaning water. Like, it don't hurt to stick it on a fire and boil it or drop a stereo tab or something in it. But, I have just drank it straight out like this before. Like, from the pump. After pumping up a bottle or whatever, and the voice is fine. In that short space of time, I've already pumped up half a litre.
Right. There is a liter of water in there. Now I'm just gonna fill up my canteen bottle and I'll be back off to camp to make a bro. So I'll see you when I get back out there. Challenge two. Try sticks. Pre warning. Uh, the sound quality and video quality might change because I'm switching over to a different camera. Sign for understanding. Right, first part of the try stick. Got to put a domed end on. So. That is done like that, so basically it's nice and rounded. Uh, so basically, when you pound it into the ground, well, that's one of the head end of your steak, so then it don't split on the way down. But as Paul pointed out earlier as well, a little bit more rounded like that, that'd basically be the end you'd use for your bow drill. Gonna point a end on this one a bit differently to other cuts that I'd use. quite a bit of force behind it. Do you want to try that one Kai? Because yeah. you're probably better doing it with a Scandi. Paul's lent me his beautiful knife. Corners off, babe. That's it. Well, I'll pull it. That's it. I'd do that right, it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Paul showed me a little trick as well. If I put the knife at a 45 degree angle when I pull, it removes a bit more material than what I was using. So, a little tip. Yeah. This is the knife Paul let me use. Fucking beauty, son. Absolute beauty. So on our choice stick now, we've got a beveled end and a peg, well, stake end. So effectively, you could say what we've just created is a beach tent peg, because you need long ass ones for that shit. But yes, the next notch we've got to do is a saddle notch. We just start at one end, come in a bit. And there you go, we got a saddle knot. Basically, I'll get a piece of wood. 
Well, so when you lash pieces of wood together, that'll sit in there like that, and then it don't move side to side. So that is the third part of the tri stick dog. Not the deepest, but there we go, we've got a double notch for a uh, yeah, double notch. Hey guys, well done. Excellent, both of you. Girl. You're getting really good at them, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you are getting really good at those notches. I think I've got that stuck in there, there's only zero in it. You've got yeah. millions of them, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> are you still enough? She went crazy when she yeah. did the notches. She went absolutely crazy, like number seven notches, or she was mental on it. There we go, that's a number seven notch there. Use also for trapping and other bits and bobs. So when we do other stuff with it, I'll show you what in action. Notch, though, you need to keep cutting back. Keeping that same 45 degree angle. We turn around to the other side. We do exactly the same. So we're building up our lump again in the middle. A little bit notch, uh, pointed, full pointed out again. Just to basically use a bit of a pivot through. Just, I'll say your trap, that's sitting there like that, so I'm trips out that full and whatever. What we do then is do an undercut up to that line. So you just undercut here. And this will then free the timber in the middle. And you need to take your time on it. You want it to be reasonably accurate. And then once you've got one side that's kind of reasonably deep, you undercut the other side exactly the same. Flick it out with the point of your knife. Or whatever, but what we're going to do is we're going to do square reduction. And the way we do square reduction is we do two parallel lines an equal distance apart. Now using the, the, the same technique as the toggle notch, what we do is we come from the centre to the edge, about as deep as we want to go, and then turn it around and do exactly the same thing, keeping it flat. Now this notch is really important if you ever want to catch yourself food and make a trap. And I'll show you for why in a bit.
bit. I've got to take this lump out and make it more cylinder. Right. Listen, just a quick one. When you get down deep enough, like this, what you do is you put the flat of the blade into the corner. Like that. Right? And then just wheedle it through. And if you notice, the point will just come through. Right? Go to the far end. Do exactly the same thing, and the point will come through. Change. Joystick, all different notches you need for bushcraft, survival. Like Paul said, there is other ones, but these are probably the main ones you actually need. So, yeah. Alright, everybody, thanks for clicking on and watching the episode and everything else. This is basically it for me. Uh, Paul and Amanda's back there breaking down their shelters and everything. Mine's broke off, broke up already. I was to the side there. So, yes. I do thank you for clicking on. Please feel free to hit the like, comment, subscribe button. And if you don't do it to my channel, go do it to Paul's. Link below. And also his Instagram, go follow him. Be much appreciated, people. Because, like today, I've been able to take these sticks and be able to go make myself... A spring snare. I could set normal snares and shit, but I was never able to do spring snares or anything. Well, Paul showed me how today. I never did a try stick in my life. Paul also got me to do one of them today. So, two things that I don't normally do that I've done, and I'm really happy about that. So, on that note, people, like I said, go subscribe to Paul and follow him. But on that note, I love you and leave you. Sayonara.